the market's very confused about uh, really um, how far the yuan's going to be allowed to trade on market um, conditions or uh, being controlled by the PBOC. And really that's what's causing a lot of volatility at the moment, uh, given that the market just doesn't really know. So you get a lot of speculation. It's the last week's moves were part of a controlled devaluation, which we didn't think so. But uh, then how much of it is actually being driven by market forces? Until we really gets clearer, then you probably will have this uh, divergence which was cleared up as we as we heard before by intervention by the PBOC last week. So, so, Roger, this is Martin down at the UBS uh, Wealth Management Conference. I want to jump in here. So let, let's uh, just recap the facts we know so far. Day three, stronger fix for the Roman B. The spread onshore and offshore uh, narrowing is coming in a bit. One-year NDFs, though, they continue to fall, so that kind of worries me. And I'm also interested in whether or not you've taken a look at the uh, trade-weighted index, the, 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 the nominal uh, effective exchange rate, whether that is above or below 100. That should tell us a lot as well, shouldn't it? Yes, it does. It tells that we were expecting that their new trade weighted index would get down to 100 uh, from when they first brought it in. It's actually got down to there. The big question now, are they going to allow it to go even further so that it is part of a controlled devaluation? We're not expecting a 15% devaluation, but as the US dollar is expected to climb, we do expect that to uh, just to, um, come away. The problem is the market's a little concerned that uh, it may, they may lose control. Roger, this is Richard in uh, Singapore. Is this just the first battle in a long war that's going to run right through 2016 with the RMB under constant downward pressure? I have no doubt about that. And uh, as you remarked earlier, you know, we've seen the, um, the yen uh, rally as a result. Uh, it did the same thing in the summer. The, the uh, difference this time, we didn't see the euro respond either um, at, in line with the, euro, uh, with the yen. So really, as the yen is, uh, as the yuan is allowed to depreciate, um, and that causes um, volatility in stock markets as people are little concerned about uh, risk on trades. The yen will rally and the question is will it bring the back the BOJ into play? We don't think so but obviously pressure will go back onto the BOJ and so therefore we've got this problem of a sort of like a, um, a, a sort of soft currency war uh, developing as one country tries to devalue and the other one's trying to uh, keep up. Yeah, uh, Roger, uh, you know, the, the other side of it, as we've been tracking the, notwithstanding the last three sessions, uh, three fixes stronger, of course, uh, is, of course, safety money going into, into the yen, one one seven half as we speak, and you say that is probably not going to be enough to make the BOJ uh, jump in with further quantitative easing. But what about where you are, which is the Australian dollar? As Rumenby got pounded uh, last week, the Aussie lost about four and a half percent. This is a, an ironic situation where, at about sixty nine or so, RBA should be fairly happy, don't you think? Oh, um, I was actually thinking, when would the RBA respond? or actually start uh, jawboning it down. Getting up to 73 um, wasn't just against the US dollar, but we were climbing against the yen and on a TWI basis, which is not really what the Reserve Bank would look for. So um, jawboning would obviously be the first call, uh, maybe a little bit of intervention, but that's usually unusual, but uh, ultimately a rate cut. But uh, down to 69, I think the Reserve Bank would be very, very happy to see it down here. I'm not particularly happy because um, it makes it very expensive to go offshore. But uh, 69, would, they would be very happy to see it down here. Any lower, probably not at the present time. Uh, but uh, it really d means that they can remain on hold for uh, what we were thinking for the next year. But it doesn't need any response to the Reserve Bank at the present time.